With the 10th anniversary of the Bali bombing barely a month away, one of the survivors is reaching out to Burns victims across the nation. Perth's Peter Hughes told Nick Way he hopes his experiences will help others reclaim their lives. In the painful world of Burns recovery, they call them wounded healers. Come on, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. Helping each other learn to live again. They have seen me and my adversity. They have cried tears for me, but they have always, they have also seen me grow, and they're proud of me. Grazie Lasotto and Carol Mayer are united by their scars and their mission. Part of a growing group joining forces with 2002 Bali bombing survivor Peter Hughes and his Burn Foundation. I know that we can change these people's lives very quickly. If we can get them early enough, I know that um, we can get them back into society very quickly. After suffering burns to almost 60% of his body from the coup de car bomb that killed more than 200 people, Peter received the best of care. But he says many Australians similarly scarred by explosions and fires are languishing without vital long-term support. Uh, the fears, the tears, we all have the same. Uh, I'd like to think that um, this organisation um, or the foundation can help them in the same way, I guess, the Bali bombings at the time helped me. Peter and his team run a program of retreats, three-day bonding and confidence-building sessions convened across the country. Burns victims attend for free, but each gathering costs around $20,000. The foundation pushing for public support for its biggest fundraising event so far in Kings Park next week, just metres from WA's Bali Bombing Memorial. When Peter Hughes heads to Bali later this month, for the 10th anniversary of the tragedy, he hopes it reminds us not only of those who were lost, but also of those who still need our help. Our acceptance, and that's, that's a big thing, you know, the accepting what's happened. And that opens the door, you know, to the next journey of their life. I will never, ever, ever have fingers, but the beauty of it is, is I have my son, I have beautiful family, I have a beautiful home. I have a lot of other things that I hold on to. For more information, see www.peterhughesburnfoundation.org.au. Nick Way, 10 News.